Hi, this is Johan with Deployment Research. In this video, I will show you how to set up a virtual router for your lab and test environment. The background to the video is a blog post I wrote back in late 2012. But since I have received few questions about the setup, I thought it was time for a video. In the blog post, you can see there are two options to set up the router. Option 1 using Server 2012 or 2012R2 if you like. Or on the option 2 is to use a Linux-based router instead. The Linux router has been the most reliable router, but if you're not that savvy in Linux, it might be easier for you to actually use the Server 2012 based router instead. In this video, I will demonstrate option 1, using Server 2012 as a router. If I drill down into the post, these are my networks. So I have three internal networks that need access to internet, and they are all running virtual machines. So these are internal networks in my Hyper-V environment. I also have an external network, which I'm using for internet access. If I go to Hyper-V Manager and go to the Virtual Switch Manager, I have one external network that is connected to my network card, my physical network card of my host. And then I have three internal networks, New York, Liverpool, and Stockholm. And these are the networks that are going to get internet access through a virtual router running on a VM. So here I have a virtual machine. This one is configured with four network cards. If I go to settings, you can see there are four different cards and they are connected to the various networks that I have. When setting up the router, when setting up the virtual machine, it makes your life a little bit easier if you actually make a note about which network card that has what MAC address. So if I drill down here, to the external interface, you can see that this one has a MAC address that ends on a 4. The New York one ends with a 7. The Stockholm one has a MAC address that ends with an 8. And the Liverpool network address, the Liverpool network adapter, has a card that ends with a 9. Because when I go into the VM, you can very easily get the net adapter information with PowerShell. And as you can see, I have named the interfaces to the same name as I had on the settings on my virtual machine. So the name here is of course matching the correct MAC address. And if I look in my normal network connections view, this is the same information as I have here in PowerShell. So I have four network cards. And before configuring the router software, make sure you have internet access on the host before you start. and also verify that you have a working DNS name resolution. Seems to work fine. Now, if I go back to the article, after naming the network cards, you need to give them the right IP address. The internet card or the external card will get the IP address through DHCP, but the other one will have static IP addresses. Now, I need to configure these network cards with the correct IP address. Back in my VM, I will simply clear the screen and display the current IP addresses. As you can see, Stockholm, New York and Liverpool, they all have non-static IP addresses. So we need to fix that. I can either go in here in network connections and set the IP addresses, but of course I can also use PowerShell to do that. If I want to see information about the specific card, you can use the get net adapter command and filter on the name. So if I start with New York, for example, it will display the information about the New York adapter. And what I can do is I can take that information, I can get that object, and I can pipe that to a command that will set the IP address. I now have set the first address. If I run the get net IP address again, you can now see that the New York card has been set with that address. So let's do the others. To the two network, and I will set Liverpool to the three network. Now it's time to add the routing and remote access role. Open up Server Manager, add roles and features. 
select remote access next 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 and complete the wizard the installation is completed and now it's time to configure it go to tools routing and remote access right click here and say configure next select network address translation select my external network select one of my internal networks I will add more later these are the networks I would like to provide internet access for routing and remote access can provide with a basic name resolution but if you already have DNS servers on your network like I have you normally would select this option and finish expand the server expand IPv4 and now I can add additional networks to network address translation so I would click right click and say new interface I will select Liverpool and this is a private interface and I will do the same with the Stockholm network also private interface so now I have one external network public interface and I have three private network behind that router so this means if I open up a machine on the New York network I have a domain controller here which is configured for the Newark network so I will start the domain controller open up a PowerShell prompt and verify that I have internet access looks good also looks good so now I have a virtual router that is routing traffic from one of my VMs through the router to internet. For more information, please go to my blog every now and then. I try to post things on a regular basis. There is also a video section with links to many of the videos I have done. If you go to the about information, there is a link to the YouTube channel where most of these videos are available. And finally, please follow me on Twitter it's a really useful resource for quick information about what's going on in the deployment area. Thanks.